Hey guys, my name's John. I go by the handle Ragin' Cajun or RC over on my own personal YouTube channel. I was asked a couple of weeks ago by GM Games if I would be interested in being a guest vlogger uh, here on their channel uh, with some content different from what I do over on my channel. And uh, when they said it was for Wolverine Studios uh, and their founder, Gary Gorski, I was happy to help out. Uh, Gary is actually a friend of mine. Hey, he's an acquaintance of mine, but I've known him since he founded Wolverine Studios. Um, just a little background. Wolverine Studios, of course, is a game developer specializing in sports-based text sim games. Uh, they operate under the branding of Draft Day Sports, which you can see right over there. Yep. And uh, I was actually one of the first two alpha testers uh, working for Gary and helping him with his game releases way back in the day uh, before they went to beta testing. And I was outsourced because they didn't need me anymore. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I like Gary a lot. Um, and uh, anything I could do to help him out, uh, I certainly don't mind. So I didn't get any real direction from GM Games on how to do this. So it's going to be a shot in the dark, and I'm going to do it my way, and then they can tell me if they want me to change anything. Uh, so let's get going. So Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2020 was released about a month ago. Uh, I'm recording this here at the beginning of April. And, uh, of course, uh, the game is traditionally released on an annual basis uh, right around the tournament time in March for March Madness. Uh, no March Madness this year, unfortunately. If somebody looks at this in five or ten years and doesn't know why, ask your parents or Google Coronavirus 2020 or Quarantine 2020, and uh, you'll figure it out. So uh, what I do on my main channel, on my channel, is I specialize in football manager. And I do typically a journeyman style save. So what a journeyman is, is you basically start off as a new coach at a low level program and you build your way up with the goal of eventually taking over the top programs uh, in the world or the nation or wherever you're at. So we're dealing in college basketball. So we are going to do that. Uh, each video will be I uh, haven't figured out a time format, but no more than 30 minutes. I think that's the, the biggest chunk that you can do on a YouTube video. So uh, we'll work on that. I uh, haven't figured out how much I'm going to skip and how much I'm going to you know show you and, and whatnot. But uh, anyway, let's get into it because I do want to show you a couple of things. So this episode, episode one, is basically going to be setting up the league telling you what we're going to be doing, how we're going to be going about it, and then we're going to actually get into the playing the game and the actual series next episode. So anyway, let's get into it. First thing I want to show you is the Wolverine Studios forums. Why are we here? Well, Wolverine Studios is the company that makes the game, and what's important here well, besides being able to ask a lot of questions of people that are playing the game, is this section right here in yellow, WS Mods. It's only in yellow because I'm mousing over it, You can see, but WS Mods, if we click on that, these are all the games that they have mods for. Now, these are mods developed by people like you and me, play people that play the game. And right here we have the College Basketball 2020 Mods. And they have this first mod by NCAA Hoops. It's the College Mod version 1.0 updated. And it tells you what's been updated, what it does. And actually, here is the five imports. That's going to be information we'll want to look at uh, in a few minutes. But uh, this is a great looking mod. Uh, if you have it from Steam, it has a download link. If you buy it, if you bought the game directly from Wolverine, you got a link here. So they are different links, and there are instruction links as well. So uh, big heads up, though. If you you know, one of the things you notice that uh, this little red line. Anybody that has a website or anything has to buy a security certificate to have that not show up. 
and that costs money. So a lot of people don't do it, especially people like that are b b building these free mods that you know they're doing for for you know to help the community, and they're not going to pay money to buy a certificate just so you don't have a red line on your monitor. Now, what does that mean for you? If you have firewall protection or a virus scanner, it will probably flag it and warn you about it. It's up to you to install it. I have installed it. I have installed past versions of his stuff. No problems. All right, well, let's get back to the game. There we are. All right, so we're going to start off building a new association. So we're going to set up the game we're actually going to play. So there are three modes, multiplayer, which is for online leagues, playing head-to-head, -head, uh, multiple owners, sandbox mode, where you can just kind of play around, and challenge mode. This is where you actually have to live up to your AD's expectations, or you could get fired. Um, so we're going to play that. Standard mode or a promotion relegation. I like that. Very similar to European football. But we're going to go standard mode. And we're going to save this as, save name, we're going to do this as uh, GM Games uh, Series. That's what I'm going to save it as. The association will be NCAA uh, starting year, of course. And we've got the NCAA tournament, the NIT, the CIT, and the CBI. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Sounds good. And we're going to pick one of the NCAA logos. I kind of like the one with the shadow there. So there we go. And all, there's no advance button here. It took me a minute yesterday when I was kind of playing around, just getting used to it. So we're going to jump it. You, you work your way across the bar here at the top. So we're going to go into the association. Here's where the mod comes in. If you're not using the mod, just go with the defaults. If you do have the mod, this is how you activate it. Use the custom file. And remember those five options that we saw? Let's go back. All right. So here's the five imports. So you have the default, which is the same as this has the default database rankings for current historical academic and facilities. Then the number one uh, has the 2019 conferences and teams, but it has game generated coaches and no stats. Number two has the 2019-20 season conferences, teams, and coaches, no stats. So this looks like real coaches. 2003 has the current year's conferences, teams, game generated coaches with stats. And number four is the current year with conferences, teams, and real coaches with stats. So you know what? Let's go ahead and we're going to choose number four. Don't know exactly what that'll do, but that's what we're going to choose. So that's importing the mod database, okay? So only use that if you have a custom database and the mod provides those four options. I'm going to go with the 1 to 10 scale because I think that gives you more gray area to kind of have to guess at. Basically, on a 1 to 100 scale, 1 to 10 is a, a 1 is the same here as a 1 to 10 here. 11 to 20 would be the 2. So this gives you more detailed, fine, fine-tuned evaluation. This still leaves a little guess. So I like that. Uh, we will allow conference movement. Injury factor, 100%. You go, man, you want everybody to get hurt? No, 100% is average. Tells you that right here. Uh, you can go all the way up to 200%. You could also go down. And you can change this setting if you don't like the amount of injuries or you want more injuries. You can, re you can change that later in the game. Uh, job pressure. This is how hard your athletic director will judge you. So we're going to go with normal. We will allow illegal recruiting. I'm going to make a change. I'm, I'm an older guy, if you couldn't tell. 
so I don't like the one and done. I miss the days of uh, Patrick Ewing as a senior at Georgetown. I miss Phi Slamma Jamma. I miss the Cinderella stories with upperclassmen teams like NC State and Jim Valvano. So I am going to prevent underclassmen from declaring. And you're going to like it. <laughs> Uh, set recruiting difficulty. They have easy, normal, high, and brutal. I'm going to go with normal, and we're going to finalize that. And we're going to accept those settings and go to coach creation. Now, you can import your own picture. If you click on select here, select picture, it tells you where the file is. You can actually put a picture of yourself in there. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pick this guy here. Uh, I already looked at the pictures and I kind of like the open shirt with no tie and we're going to put in our name here. So we are raging Cajun. I'm going to be 35 in the game. I, I still remember what it feels like to be 35, but we want to be 35 so we can have a little bit of a long career. So we've graduated college. We've been, a, we've been a coach for a while. And my favorite program is the Michigan Wolverines. I did attend Louisiana Lafayette, although it was a different name then. Uh, but I am an alum of the Raging Cajuns, hence my name. But I am a huge Michigan Wolverine fan. Ambition level. This is just kind of where you set your personality traits. And this will affect small things in the game. Recruiting can be affected by this. So there is no min-maxing. So you just kind of go with what you want. Some players will like it. Some won't. Uh, ambition, I'm going to say if I want to get to the Wolverines, I need to have a pretty high ambition. Academics, I'm going to say high as well. Discipline, I'm going to go low. And integrity, I'm going to go very high, kind of John Beeline-ish. And uh, temper level. So typically, I have a pretty laid-back attitude. But you know what? I want to go up on the Bobby Knight side of things. And we're going to go with a little bit of a uh, temper level. All right? Philosophies. So how do we want to set ourselves up? Well... I do like more vet since we're not going to allow underclassmen to declare. I am going to go one tick high on play, uh, veterans. Uh, I'm going to go one tick up on rotation. So basically, you're going to I'll use a little more than the regular five, but probably no more than eight, nine players, and uh, we'll get into that. Uh, offensive pace. I'm going to go one tick up on that. Crashing the boards. Yeah, we don't want to give up fast breaks because I want to run a defensive-minded program. Um, one of the teams that I was a big fan of uh, was UNLV in their heyday in the early 90s uh, under Jerry Tarkanian. Uh, Stacy Ogman, man, he was a shutdown defender. So defensive intensity. Quicker fatigue, increased risk of fouls. But we are going to dial that up. Um, I'm going to go one tick up on the defense crashing the boards. Full court defense, I'm going to say no. I don't mind half court defense, but I don't want, well, you know what? We're going to keep it at, at average. And zone, we'll keep that as average as well. All right, skill settings. Well, we're going to select a model. So you notice right now we don't have any skills. Well, we're going to be a rookie coach. We're brand new. And we want to get to the highest jobs in the world. So eventually I want the ability to become an elite coach. And much like most games, what I think this one's going to do, I don't know for positive, but are we recording? I want to make sure I don't see... Yes. All right. I couldn't see the bottom of my recording screen there. And you'll see me do that every once in a while. Um, and it looks like my video is still screwed up. I have played around with that a ton this morning. Just can't seem to dial it in. It was fine yesterday. <sighs> Technology. All right. But anyway, we want to get to the top program. So we want to be elite. Now we can go in and tweak these. I wish that you could click in these 
boxes, but you can't. So you have to use the slider. So let's start with where we want to go. Um, I'm going to hire good scouts. So I want to be able to recruit, be one of the best recruiters in the country. And I also want to be a defensive whiz. So we want to push that all the way up. And I want to be able to develop my players to the maximum ability, right? So we're going to go there. Now that leaves me two points. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into offense. Scouting. When you're scouting players, this is your ability to determine their actual ratings. And from what I have read or what I'm looking at, it looks like it uses a combination of your skill and your assistant skill, your assistant that's over that area. So you're going to hire a recruiting coach, an assistant, a scouting assistant, and a, and a coach that does offense and defense. So at this level, I'd want to hire an offensive-minded assistant. I'd want to hire a very good scout, and I really wouldn't care about the recruiting ability, except he is going to make calls and stuff that we'll see down the road. So that's going to be our upper end. Now, where are we going to be at today? Well, I think we're going to dial that back. We're going to dial that back. I want to go up to 35 here. And I want to develop the players. So we're going to go to 40 and 40. So I'll be a decent recruiter. I'll be a decent player development. I can get my defensive philosophy across. I won't be able to scout or give good offensive concepts. That's just how it's going to be. So, you know, now you can tweak this however you want to do it when you play, but because we're doing a journeyman, remember, I want to start off real life rookie and build my way up. All right, so that's our skills. Job selection. Now, you'll notice here, job offers are based on your skill level and philosophies. So in sandbox or multiplayer, any team will be available. And you'll notice they have second assistants, head coaches, um, first assistants, third assistants. I don't think the th I don't like being an assistant coach. I did try that in a previous version of this game, and I basically spent the whole year just clicking the advance button because there was literally nothing for me to do. So we want to, I wish I could just Yes, head coach. There we go. All right, we'll sort by prestige. So we could get into a 14 prestige job. And because we are a rookie coach, I think that would still be realistic, right? So, but let's figure it out. Now, I live in Texas. I'm from Louisiana. Uh, I think my base is in the South. Although... I do want to get to Michigan, so maybe going into the Midwest would not be a bad idea. But where are you going to get your first job? It's probably going to be where you have some connections. Um, now, I don't have set up where I was an assistant coach at. But anyway, we'll, we'll kind of just role play that a little bit. So Southeast Louisiana, State School, Texas Southern. Nichols, that's in Louisiana, Alabama State. The other option is just to go down to the very bottom teams here and pick one of these. I think I picked North Alabama uh, yesterday when I had started, uh, which wasn't bad. But you know what? The other thing I want to do, let's do this. So these are all the clubs that will hire us. Well, we have pretty high, we personally, remember, in our philosophy, had pretty high academic standards. So let's sort by academics, and then let's go down through the facility. So there's a C with a B plus. And my dad was a military guy, so now Army and Navy, he was Air Force, he was a fighter pilot. Uh, but there's a Binghampton. 
Do we have a B in here? We do not. Let's just double check that. Oh, we do have a B minus, but no academics. So yeah, we're not gonna go that route. So I'm gonna say a C plus. So that would be a pretty good one. Dartmouth, that's Ivy League. I wonder if they have, uh... I played in an online league uh, with a different college basketball game and we had built in Ivy League rules where your SATs had to be a certain score. I think it was 1200 uh, to even, even recruit them. I don't know if they have that in this game. Um, but yeah, I think because we have high academic standards, we'll have to go here. You know what? That seems to be the, are they all 80,000 a year? They are. All right. So it doesn't matter where I go. I'm going to get paid the same. All right. Well, you know, I'm more Navy than Army. Nothing personal. So we're going to take the Navy job. High, high academics and decent facilities. So we're going to take that job and we're going to finalize and we'll save the league and it's going to create the league and go ahead and get us to starting day. And I think at this point we're going to call that a wrap on episode one or episode zero if you want to call it that. So uh, if you have any questions, ask below in the comments. I will do my best to answer them uh, and help you out you've got uh, the website over to wolverine studios uh, where you can talk ask questions on their forums as well and again the goal here is to start at navy and develop our reputation our personal reputation where we can then increase our skill level add points to our skills and get better and better jobs so you know we won't do a ton of job hopping you know like every year but you know, when job offers do come in, we will have to consider that for the betterment of our own personal career. You know, so that's going to be the philosophy of this series. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. Hope GM Games is not uh, too disappointed with the effort here. But uh, we'll get into some game action next episode. We will see you guys. Take care. Bye.